Hi everybody, I'm Rob from State of Art Academy and this is about realistic reflections with Photoshop. Hi everybody, um, first first video with my face. Hi everybody. Um, today what we're going to do is to understand a little bit better how to deal with reflections. Maybe in your project you have some you know, glasses or glazing or double glazing or triple glazing and um, you don't want to do that in 3ds max or in like corona v-ray uh, but you want to be free to do it in post-production with photoshop uh, this is an old image uh, from one of our students at so academy andrea and uh, as you can see he picked a uh, black and white mood uh, this is the end result and uh, we have the version without the glass so we can now understand how to um, put it by you know photoshop uh, but before that um i wish um i, I want to um just check with you um something about um reflections and um, how it works with a glass now glass is dielectric which means is not a metal it's not a metal and um which means that in the front as you can see from the graph here this is a uh, refractive index dot info um, as you can see here, we have the reflectance on angle of incidence graph, and as you can see, um, with dielectrics, we have a very, very weak reflection when we look at uh, frontally, and then the power goes up uh, to the maximum value when you look at the, um, the glass on the side. And you can you can tell by looking at this this photo, as you can see in the sphere here. Uh, reflection is almost invisible frontally but he like little by little um, you know gets stronger when we when we go on the side and um, I downloaded some references and as you can see here um, it's very clear what's happening so the, the first thing we need to check about uh, about you know glasses is that you know reflection gets stronger when you go on the side when you go on the front you get weaker but also uh, because we have refraction, we need to check about what is behind the glass. So this is how it works. If if you have a stronger light behind the glass, then reflection is going to be almost invisible. Um, if you if if you can see here, you see reflection is quite strong. I mean, you can, we can see some reflection here, but then there's a light inside uh, this this room, and reflection basically disappears. So. Uh, going back to, to 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 the example we have here, um, in this image we have we have no glasses, and we should we should put something. I don't know. We can put an image. We can put a photo like this one, and uh, the, the the photo have to be have to be um, masked with the mask of the glass, but also. Uh, masked uh, depending on how strong is the inside so probably what we need is something like you know um, uh, you know a, a stronger reflection here where, where we have a, like um, the, the dark area and, and and a weaker reflection here where where we have this like strong white um, parts um, but how can we do that? Um, it's, it's it's pretty easy. This is the trick behind this tutorial. Um, what we need to do is um, we need to make um, a screenshot of the image, which means that we are, what we're going to do is is basically a, a one layer only with all the contents you have right now. So you just you just press Control Shift Alt E, uh, and and as you can see, we have a new layer uh, with you know the, the the entire image in, and then we can we, we we normally you have a, a colors so you should like desaturate the content of this layer with ctrl shift u now this is already desaturated we don't need to do that and then the trick is we need to invert this and as we invert it now as you can see here what we have is um this is the area where uh you know the the, the inside is darker and because this is a mask is going to show more of the reflection because now it's white and on on the other side this is uh, the bright area in the original image and it's now really dark almost black and so we are not going to see any reflection from there 
Um, now that we have this, I mean, this need to become a mask. So as you know, mask belongs to the channels. Um, so I take it, Control A, Control C, I go to the channels, new channel, I paste it. And now we have the mask, we can click on Control and we can go and, you know, use it. Now, before we can use it, we need to take a photo. So take this one, I bring it here in front of my image. I really don't really care about, you know, the placement is something we can, we can work on later on. And I close it into a group. And this is basically the glasses group. And what we, um, what we care about now is to um, mask this with the mask of the glasses, which is here. It's, uh, you know, RGB mask. And when we have something like that, I mean, of course, we need the green, the green area, which means that we have to go to the channels and pick the green one. I'm sorry, this is in Italian, but you know, the bird is, it means green. We control click on this and we get the selection. We get back to the channels and selecting this, you know, group here, we click on this button here to mask it. And now, you see, as you can see, we can, we are, we are free to, you know, move the content here as we want. And now here we can finally mask, um, you know, just properly with, uh, you know, inverted inside. So here we are, we control click on the thumbnail and with this layer selected, press again to mask it. And as you can see now, the reflection is stronger where the inside is darker and is actually uh, correct. Um, I'm going to desaturate the image. I don't need colors in this file. And then uh, I told you in, in frontally um, the um, as you can see as you can see from here, frontally uh, glass is um, really weak in reflection. So probably this reflection is, is quite you know strong now. I can just go down with opacity and and I get I get the result I want. Now. A little bit uh, more about this if you have you know uh, double glazing which means that you know your reflection is made more than from like more than just one layer of glass like you see here um, the reflection is then you know mm, multiplied is there's not just one reflection there's more and um, the second and third and wherever I mean doesn't matter how m many you have th those reflections are weaker than the first one so we can go back on on our file and 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 um and we can basically like just copy this one um unlink we can w work on on the bottom one unlink the content uh from the mask because the mask should be the same should stay there and we can select this layer um make it even you know you know weaker and, and transparent and just move just move it like slightly on the left, on the right, doesn't matter. Um, just, just to you see, uh, just, just to have like a double glazing effect. I mean, you, if you want, you can like, you know, I mean, uh, make it bigger, make it smaller. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. It's, it's a sort of you know micro imperfection. I mean, it's, it's a detail. Uh, what do you, what do you want to achieve? Um, you know, just remember, you know, um, this, this is a, a very simple example. The glass is is in front of us so the reflection is is, is weak uh, but if you have a glass that goes on the side like you know like the one you can see here from you know in, in this example um, you need to add another mask um, with the gradient that goes like you know uh, brighter on the side that's everything. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this small quick tip. Uh, see you next time.